All right, Kenny got this for me, and he told me I probably would want to read it. Friends invited to lunch, then shot, Sheriff says. And it goes on. Uh, to, I, I'll see if I can find the link for this um, for you guys to look at. And then it says below it, air response questions. And that's because air ambulances from... Um, here, I'm just going to set this down. Um... Uh, the helicopters were hovering ahead, and I and you see this crease in the paper here. I told Kenny, I said, if I turn it over and it says Providence Hospital, I said, you know what? I would if and if I lived up in Marysville, by God, I don't want to go to Harborview. My son went there; he was airlifted there, and he was treated like shit. Um, I I the Providence isn't that far away. They could have probably got them by ambulance there farther, and it is a trauma center too, I believe. Um, so you know, I don't understand what is is uh, Harborview mad? Seattle's regional trauma hospital. Are they mad? My son was in a, a car accident where he flipped several times. He had br a broken back and a br bruised lung. They um, transported him there. And because he did not have insurance, this was like three or four years ago, they called me up. We had spent first the whole day or the whole evening looking for him because we found out he was in the wreck. Every hospital they said they sent him to, um, he wasn't there. So I was literally, I saw the wreck. It was that bad to where it looked like he probably could have died. And so I was, I was asking at each hospital if they checked the morgue. And so I, this, you know, parents' worst nightmare. I went through all of that, and finally I found my son at a hospital. And they decided they weren't equipped enough to deal with, you know, he, he, they didn't know how bad his back was broken and so forth. All they did is he got, he was, he had been strapped to that board for about six hours by the time I got to him because it took, I went all over Thurston County, um, Grays Harbor County, and Mason County hospitals looking for my child. I found him in a Grays Harbor hospital. Um, they airlifted him to the one in Seattle, which did the same um, thing that they did at this hospital. Said his back is broken. He's got a bruised lung. Come get him out. We And like I said, we'd been looking and driving. And after I put him on the air ambulance and they told me he was going to be in stable condition, he was stable, not critical, to go home and get a little rest. And then I was making plans on who's going to sit up there with him, you know, because he was 18 years old and some parent, you know, me or Kenny or Kenny's not his parent, but one of us, you know, we were deciding who was going to stay up there and hang out with him. I mean, his back was broken two places. I swear not as soon as we crawled in bed, he was, we got back home from the hospital. Harborview called and said, he's sitting in the hall. He's got a bruised lung and a broken back. Come get him now. And that was on 9-11. They were doing a drill. So I said, can we at least get a little rest? I mean, and they, and they absolutely told me, no, they were kicking him out. And I, I asked him why. And they said, he didn't have insurance. This is before Obamacare. So um, we drove three hours to Seattle, got my kid. I sat in a waiting room that had one guy in it, and it looked like he'd been in an accident. He had a cast on his leg. The police came and escorted him off the premises and said he would have to wait three blocks away from the hospital. Then they came to approach me, and the lady at the desk said, No, she's come to get her son. So they were doing some kind of drill at the hospital, it was nine. It was on nine eleven when I had to pick him up, and yeah, and there were armed people everywhere. So I I wouldn't fly to Harborview either. I'm just putting my two cents worth in. Um, I mean, my son really, literally, they flew him there. They took X rays, called us, and said, "Come get him." I so then he had to come back. He had to be doped up to come back a three hour drive in our car. We had to have him doped up because he was injured that bad. Plus, he wasn't breathing good. So I just took care of him from then on out because this was bullshit. And so, um, you know, when I read this, I looked at Kenny and I said, why the hell would you want your kid flown to Harborview after we've been through? I've been through Harborview twice. I don't know why people would even want their people flown to this place. 
Um, so, you know, I'm going to say good job by Snohomish County by saying, no, nah, we'll take them to Providence. And, you know, if they do get in, you know, the condition that reaches a criteria where he has to go to the Seattle hospital, then maybe, you know, if one of the students needed to then do it. But by God, there's the best shot they ever called because Harborview is one of the most horrid hospitals you can be flown to. When I went and got my son, he was sitting in a hall. They'd finally got him off the backboard, at least that much. He wasn't wheeled out and he couldn't walk. So here's his injured, my, my leg had, had not healed. I'd had surgery on my leg. I had a compound fracture and I'm kind of, my son's hanging all his weight on me and I'm kind of dragging him out there. Um, the police weren't going to let Kenny park close, but Kenny defied him and pulled up there and let us get in. They didn't use a wheelchair or nothing. They, they didn't give a shit. He didn't have insurance. They did not care. Get him the hell out of the hospital. That's all it was about. So, um, at this point, I think that Providence was probably the best bet to take the kids instead of Harborview. Just my humble opinion, having experienced this hospital before, um, they need to clean up their act there, um, is what I would say. So I don't know. I'm not going to really speak on this because I've talked to the aunt of this, um, victim, um, or a relation, I don't know if it's an aunt, now privately, and I am not going to just say anything out of respect for these people. Um, if people want to say it's a false flag, they can. Maybe it was other things. I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, like I said, this child walked in two worlds. Anyway, that's just my humble opinion. Uh, Kenny wanted me to read this, and this is what I got out of it, and I'll see if I can find... As I was put out um, Tuesday, October 28, 2014, this paper. It's the Seattle Times. I'll try to find this. Anyway, um, love you guys. Hope you're having a nice day. We are still getting rain in the Pacific Northwest. It has been nonstop. Um, I would love to see the sun. So I hope for you who are seeing the sun, please go enjoy it. Um, the rain's a drag. <laughs> and have a nice one, everyone. Linda is out.